Alrighty, hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a Slackers Undercover Vlog. I am your Vlog host for today, Mad Dog, and I'm just bringing you a kind of an update and kind of a box unveiling as well. So, how's it going guys? Uh, I just wanted to kind of briefly touch on a, on a few things. Uh, uh, one, uh, I want to thank everybody who has, you know, supported, you know, the things going on with my wife, you know, health-wise and all that. Uh, she's getting better. Uh, we go, or she goes in for her test in May. Is it May or March? No, it's, it's May. It's May. So, uh, to find out if the precancerous uh, thing is gone. If not, then she has to go on another round of medication. Hopefully it didn't get worse. So, uh, so thank you all for supporting, uh, sending your prayers and all that. I really appreciate you on that. Uh, yeah, uh, my cat Iris had some surgery. I've kind of briefly touched about that. Uh, we just got her fixed, so nothing... Nothing major or nothing like that, but uh, she's become a real cuddle bug after <laughs> she had her surgery, so uh, she's become a really lovey, dovey cat. She's still psycho and likes to play and everything, but she just loves to cuddle now, so so she's doing pretty good. Uh, I'm doing all right as well. Um, uh, news update for me, uh, my car is almost fixed and ready to go. Uh, they've got the engine for the most part put back together uh waiting on the turbo to come in that i ordered because i know that's the next thing that's going to go out of my car is uh the second the turbo goes out or second i get it back that's going to be the thing that goes out because that's the original turbo on it and i've got like 130 something thousand miles on that car so 150 thousand miles for a turbo yeah it's, it's fixing to die so just get it replaced right now while we while we have the engine out, it's cheaper to do, so. Yeah, so my uh, 1993 MR2 Turbo, aka Sonic, uh, is gonna be, is be, gonna be back, and I will definitely be doing some uh, actual uh, autocross in real life, so, with my car. So, I will, I'll either buy a GoPro, or I'll borrow one of my, my buddies' GoPros, and, uh, Y'all can see me do some real life racing, so look forward to seeing some of that on the channel. Uh, I'll still talk with Bunny about uploading some of my old ones. I just don't know if we need to edit music out or or what. So uh, let me get with him on that, and then I'll I'll post some of those for you too, because I know I told y'all last year I would do that, and I just hadn't gotten around to it. So so that's that's my bad on that, but oh, I got the. Uh, Oh man, I wish I had brought it in here. It's in the bedroom. I don't want to wake up the wife. Uh, I just came home from from work, and I'm just getting recordings done and stuff. While you know, I got off early, so. But uh, it's a really awesome blue. Uh, it's uh, it's called Pika Blue, <laughs> and it's like a it's like a chromy type blue, but it's like almost it's like a dual layer color that they have to do. So uh, that's what that's the color I'm gonna do my car in. So. Uh, and then I'm gonna do the rims candy apple red, so it's gonna look beautiful, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna show it off once. Uh, I'm gonna do a video on it, so once they uh, complete it, I'll uh, I'll definitely upload that so y'all can see my car in real life. <coughs> mm, sorry, guys, getting over being sick or almost sick, so I got really bad for a couple days, and and then now I'm like feeling starting to feel better but i still got a, a cough from the drainage and stuff so just bear with me apologies if i cough a lot in uh some of my other videos and part of me for getting some water but otherwise it's gonna cough again if i didn't wet my throat uh what else um uh, as for the channel um unfortunately you know dust bunny's still sick so Hopefully he'll get his health self, uh, sorted out, you know, uh, just say a few prayers for him. You know, we still don't know what's, you know, you know, what's wrong with him. So <laughs> he needs to go to the doctor and, and get that figured out. So, um, so just, you know, keep him, keep him in your prayers and your thoughts. So, and, uh, you know, he'll be around when he, he's up for it. So, you know, 
I'm, I'm hoping to do more group streams, but you know, y'all have got to be understanding. You know, he's he's sick right now, so um, just just bear with us. You know, I'm gonna try to do my best to uh, uh, put out a lot of content for y'all, so that way the channel's not lacking on content uh, while he's recovering and you know getting better. So um, also, uh, I on that winter break I bought a lot. Of new games for the channel so uh, y'all have already seen I've started playing Battletech uh, Dirt 4 was my first playthrough of that and um, I've got a few other ones here uh, I, I bought uh, Chrono Trigger you know since the dog my avatar for the channel is the Chrono hair you know the the dog face so um, so y'all get to see that if y'all have never seen that game before I'm going to start doing a playthrough of that when none of the other slackers can join me. So, uh, look forward to some solo streams of that. And, uh, I got a few others here. Uh, I'm not going to say the names just because I'd rather keep that a secret until I start playing them. But I've got, what is it? One, two, three, four. It's just four. No, it's more than that. Where is that icon? I guess it is four, but technically five because there's another game that's starting to uh, finally uh, do some more updates to their game, so I'm going to revisit a few other games. Uh, I'm going to get more into Robocraft again, so since this uh, Infinity update, uh, it's a lot easier for me to do the Joy of Robo Building for y'all, so I don't have to grind up parts anymore and stuff like that. So I expect to see some more builds and then the, you know trying them out and then some more uh, clan play with uh, uh, Ross on his YouTube channel and stuff as well. Uh, that Scottish guy is what he's calling himself now. So uh, make sure you go check him out as well. <coughs> Again, guys, sorry, sorry for the uh, <coughs> for the cough. <coughs> Uh, so yeah, lots of new playthroughs, uh, you know, looking forward to doing some more like multiplayer games, um, some more Seven Days to Die, uh, they just released another stable version, so, uh, it doesn't look like we have to restart, so, that's good, because we <laughs> barely just started getting into another season of it, and we're like, uh, you know, for us to have to restart already again, you know. But, um, yeah. All right, and finally, uh, of the new games that we uh, that I started playing for the channel, uh, Dirt 4, uh, I finally gave in. <laughs> and that's what the unboxing is. Let me grab this thing right here. I finally gave in. Come here. Oh, you're a heavy thing. Oh. And got me a steering wheel with some pedals. So... Go ahead and just get this bad boy up here. All right. So, yeah. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start playing Dirt 4 with this and uh, see how our handling goes from there. So, get this out of the way. Let's get this over. I'm going to hit my mic if I don't. There we go. All right. We'll check out these instructions later. Yeah. We've got the pedals and everything. So... Actually, let me just put this on the ground because otherwise I'm not going to have a place to uh, put the stuff when I'm pulling it out. So, uh, all right. So we got steering wheel. Let's see how this thing looks. And episode two of Dirt Four will be using this, so you'll get to see that. There we go. Yeah. Look at that bad boy. Okay. Nice. Get the clamps there. Uh, there's the power pack for it. Ready? And the pedals. Nice. This is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. 
I hope I have enough room under there for for all this. We'll get it figured out though. Jeez, this is heavy. I think this is heavier than the steering wheel. Yeah, look at those. Is that like rubber grip on there? No, that's smooth, but that's sweet. Oh yeah, that spring action. It pushes back on you. Oh, that's great. That's great. Oh, there's a little thing here too for, I guess, to put it into the carpet if you need to. Nice. So that way it'll stay stationary. I was thinking I was gonna have to rig up like some boards or something to hold it in place, but we'll uh, look at that later. A little instruction guide. There's actually a whole rig thing on this. I, I was actually looking at that too, that they sell stations for these things to where you can hook them all up. I thought that would be really awesome for me to do one day, just have like a whole driving simulator like station for this stuff. But unfortunately uh, at the current house, I don't have the room to do something like that. So maybe in the future, uh, we'll go ahead and do something like that. But it looks like everything in here, let me put this back in the box. All this plastic. But yeah, so. <laughs> Will that show up in the camera? No, I guess the steering wheel's not. Oh, it's just below the camera view. <laughs> so you're going to be seeing me go like this on the camera. <laughs> <coughs> so you'll know I'll be using the steering wheel because I'll be like, it's going to be hooked in like that, so. And yeah, I will probably be turning with it because uh, it's just a habit of mine from when I was a little kid. So, awesome. Alrighty, guys. Uh, yeah. So I'm looking forward to uh, hook, hooking this up and trying it out. Uh, I got the bug. Uh, uh, as I mentioned in the last stream, uh, I went to. Uh, Otaku Cafe here in San Antonio. Uh, my friend invited me because he was entering a uh, a Gundam model building competition. So these guys right here in the uh, in the uh, display cases right here, you see uh, those are Gundam models. So he entered that competition. Uh, he won the grand prize, by the way. So he's moving on to the next level of competition, which takes place, I believe, at San Japan. So he got a free ticket to go to San Japan. So I'm definitely going to go to San Japan, and I'm going to be there to go check out that and cover that event as well. So, yeah. Hopefully he wins the whole thing, but that's really, that would be really cool. But uh, also, while I was there, because of the event, uh, they had, uh, they were calling it Gundam Night Event. So, paid $5. Uh, that covered pizza, soda, and... Um, and uh, use of their arcade section because half the store is anime stuff that you can buy model kits and then they have a section of tables where you can play like card games or in my friend Joseph's case uh, build your models <laughs> and then um, also um, they have a TV right there in that section to where you can watch like uh, uh, they had anime on so at the time they had a Gundam um, Gundam Zeta, I think it was. So, let me grind this. I, I just remembered I had a picture of his winning Gundam on my phone. There we go. Ooh, it's going to be hard to see with the lamp. There we go. Focus. There it is. So, yeah, he built that custom stand underneath, and he did all the, the damage and stuff on it. So, I thought that was really cool. <clears throat> and uh yeah like i was saying uh you got you got all that stuff they also had those giant cookies that you get in them you can get at the mall or whatever so that you can have like like a cake or whatever it's like this big uh for like desserts you know in the arcade you know so and then they give you raffle tickets and right when i was fixed to leave they uh they called my number so i won <clears throat> this model kit right here this is the core fighter for the original Gundam. Uh, I'll have uh, 
when Joseph comes over, we're going to have like a model kit building day. So uh, he's going to help me put that together along with the other projects I was working on and start filling this case up. And then the other thing I won with that as well was uh, this right here. Yeah. So I get to go to MizumiCon. Uh, it says two badges per this ticket. So I get to take me and someone else. So uh, I'm going to check with the wife to see if she wants to go. If not, uh, probably invite one of my usual cosplay buddies to go with me. So. Uh, so expect to see me at MizumiCon, so here in San Antonio. So if y'all want to meet me or whatever, just come up and say hi. Uh, I don't know what I'll be wearing yet, so probably my Chrono Trigger and my Borderlands. I don't think uh, I'm going to have time to work on another cosplay at the moment, so. But soon. And I want to do videos on that too, but I want to get some, like, recording equipment first, like, uh like a camcorder with a stand or something like that. So I need to ask my friend uh, Erica about that because she's really knowledgeable about cameras and things of that sort. Uh, so I could do videos like that for y'all. So whenever I'm working on my cosplay stuff, uh, y'all get to see cool videos like that from, from me as well. So I think I'll call that segment like Chrono's Armory or something just to keep up with the Chrono Trigger thing. So... <laughs> Uh, so yeah, um, so very excited for 2019, um, so far it's been a good year, knock on wood, don't want to jinx myself, so, uh, hopefully it continues to stay that way, so, but yeah, uh, let me get to get started on setting this thing up, and yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you today, folks. Uh, actually, that was quite a bit I talked about. I thought it was only going to be like a 5-10 minute video max. I'm almost pushing 20 minutes here. So, cool. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, actually the time I'm making this and when this video is going to go up is going to be the day after. But I'm going back to that same anime shop uh, on Saturday, the day before this video, um, to, to that anime shop because they're having like a car car show thing there too. So trying to get car clubs there. I wish my car was ready in time so I could take it, but unfortunately, <coughs> engine's still not in the car yet, so, and then they still gotta finish, uh, <coughs> uh, painting the calipers and the wheels, and then they're, I'm gonna have the car wrapped, so, so it's like this vinyl material that goes over the car, so it's gonna look gorgeous and exactly the way I want it, so, <laughs> but yeah, uh, that's, that's it guys. That's all I got for you. <laughs> Alrighty guys, uh, appreciate everything, all your support, and, uh, just want to say congratulations to, uh, Dark Dragon as well again for our holiday gift away. He was the grand prize winner and won a Slacker's hoodie, so congrats dude. And yeah, he said he enjoyed it and loved it, so awesome. Hoping to uh, get y'all involved in more giveaway streams in the future so we can give y'all more merchandise or I know we have some game codes that we have for certain games to give out, uh, some Steam gift cards, stuff like that. So we'll be doing giveaways in the future soon. So just keep an eye out for, on the horizon. We'll, we'll do a better job of advertising before, hence that way you know when we're going to be doing events like that. So. <clears throat> but yeah alrighty guys well this is Mad Dog signing off and we'll see you next time Slack Underground arr, arr.